Thank you to Armra Colostrum for sponsoring. More on them later. I'm sharing some new jeans, jewelry, favorite recipes, and relaxing pastimes today on The Daily Connoisseur. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back. As spring dawns, I am beginning to think about my upcoming spring-summer wardrobe. In the past on the channel, I would scramble to assemble a wardrobe to film, but now I'm taking a more regular process of slowly curating pieces for my wardrobe. So those will start to trickle in over the next few weeks, and I hope we can enjoy the process together. I like to wear lighter colors in spring, and knew that I wanted some lighter jeans to enjoy wearing this season. I have loved the Way Highs by Everlane that I featured in the past, and I knew I wanted to stay with this silhouette. So I bought this new shade of theirs in Ecru. It's more of a cream than a white. I have a lot of cream in my wardrobe, and I'm looking forward to wearing some of these delicious monochromatic looks. is a high-rise jean in organic cotton with a slightly flared leg and a cropped cut. I'm still wearing some of the transitional pieces before I gather my spring items, and these jeans go so well with many of them. Right now, I'm enjoying them with ballet flats, but they will also look wonderful with sandals as the weather starts to warm up. white and cream and feel like they add a peaceful yet vibrant quality to my wardrobe. So I'll enjoy styling these jeans with the pieces to come. And now for a pretty jewelry highlight. I wanted to share this beautiful Zoe Love initial necklace. This is a 14 karat solid gold necklace that you can customize anywhere from 2 to 10 initials. It comes in yellow, white, and rose gold. This would make an amazing gift or a wonderful treat for yourself. You can put your own initials on or initials of your loved ones. Zoe Love sent me mine with my initials JLS on it and I love it. Every time I've worn this necklace out, I have received a compliment on it. It's a modern way to wear initials and I love how small and subtle they are so it's not overbearing. I'll leave this necklace linked down below along with my discount code. I recently shared a what I eat in a day video and there were several easy recipes I wanted to share from it including this strawberry coconut overnight oats parfait. I start by mixing together oats, Greek yogurt, unsweetened vanilla oat milk, flax seeds, and almond butter until it's all combined. this in my glass like a parfait. So I start with the oats and then I layer some cultured probiotic coconut cream on top of that and a chia superfood jam. Then I add the final layer of the oat mixture and more strawberries. Cover this and let this sit overnight in the fridge. In the morning, I remove it from the refrigerator and top with one more dollop of coconut cream and jam. This is delicious. It has a good amount of protein in it with the Greek yogurt and also the almond butter. And it's also highly customizable. You don't need the coconut cream and the exact jam I use. You can substitute anything you like 
or simply enjoy the oats with chopped fresh fruit. Is there anything better than getting lost in a good book? You know I've been working on incorporating rest into my day. Previously, in my busy, rushing phase of life, which I am conscientiously putting to rest now, I would only allow myself audiobooks. I told myself I didn't have time to sit down and read an actual book. I realize now that this was a limiting belief I had about myself. Of course I could create time to do this, but I felt like the other more productive things to do on my to-do list were more pressing and that reading didn't deserve my time like those other things did. But then I thought about my dad and how I have so many memories of him reading. When I was growing up, one of his favorite ways to spend his leisure time was reading a book. He marked up his books like I do, highlighting what stood out to him, writing illegible notes in the margins, <laughs> just like me. I want my kids to see me reading too. Plus, reading is such a cozy escape for me. If I allow myself to fully rest, I can feel so restored even after just a 20 minute read. I'm currently reading Lives Like Loaded Guns by Lindell Gordon about the feuds in Emily Dickinson's family. I'll often go on deep dives like this when I'm interested in a topic, and you know how obsessed I am with Emily Dickinson. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to give you the progress report that my reading and rest time is coming along nicely. I'm telling myself that I do have time for rest and relaxation, and that is a very empowering thought indeed. I'm going to take a minute to tell you about Armour Colostrum, who have kindly sponsored today's video. I am always on the lookout for ways to improve my overall health and add nutrients to my diet, and I love this brand, Arma Colostrum. Arma Colostrum is the most potent, bioavailable, sustainably sourced colostrum on the market. Colostrum has so many benefits for your health. It improves your skin elasticity, it optimizes your gut microbiome, it contains functional nutrients that help strengthen your immune system, and it provides focus, mood, and energy in a naturally sustained way. Armour Colostrum also reactivates hair follicle stem cells to optimize the scalp microbiome while fueling growth at the cellular level for fuller, thicker hair. Armour Colostrum is a bioactive whole food, not a supplement, and you can take it in a few different ways. You can either put it in water and drink it, or my favorite way is to actually take it dry. We've worked out a special offer for my audience. Receive 15% off your first order. Go to tryarmra.com forward slash daily C or enter code daily C to get 15% off your first order. That's T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A dot com slash daily C. And thank you to Arma Colostrum for sponsoring. Now I wanted to share an easy avocado salmon toast recipe with you. This is a great one for a light lunch and it looks so fancy too. I take some honey oat sourdough and toast it in the toaster. Then I spread some avocado on top. I top that with smoked salmon and squeeze a bit of lemon juice on top. And then I top it with a thick slice of tomato and broccoli sprouts. You can also salt and pepper to your taste. is so refreshing and delicious. Spring is here and I wanted to show you some beautiful images from the garden. I steal away outside as much as I can to soak up all the springtide changes happening in front of me. friends, I wanted to end on a healthy and delicious dessert that's highly customizable, cherry granola crumble. I take one package of frozen pitted cherries and place them in a small pot on medium heat. I squeeze some lemon juice on top, add about a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of cornstarch to thicken it. I cook this until the cherries are heated through and the sauce is thickened. Then in a small casserole dish coated with oil, I place the cherries. On top of that, I place some granola with cashews and chocolate sprinkles and bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. I like to serve 
serve this with probiotic coconut cream. How good does this look for a healthy tea time treat? It would also make a delicious breakfast too. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to Arma Colostrum for sponsoring. Head to tryarma.com forward slash daily C or enter code daily C to get 15% off your order. Thank you for joining me today. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.